Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video showing the difference between using Air Assist and not using the Air Assist. As some of you might know, I recently hooked up the Ultimate Air Assist on my CO2 laser and I'm just basically going through and been doing some testing. Uh, you'll also see here that I'm also using a light burn as well now. Um, very new to it. In fact, that new that I'm still on the free trial, but I'll definitely be purchasing the software once the trial runs out. Uh, I was using RD Works. Um, I had a little bit of a problem with one of the designs that I was doing. Downloaded Lightburn, uh, basically just to test it out, and absolutely 100% um, better. So, um, love it. So, yeah, basically I'm going to be in here now at the moment just making these uh, quick designs, Air Assist and No Assist, and I'll set them on two different layers so that one of them will cut, obviously, using the Air Assist, and then one will cut without using the Air Assist. Uh, I'm just putting these little bars in just to hold it all together as, you know, it's just for the purpose of the video. I didn't want them all falling out. Um, and how easy is that to weld that all together? Just basically pop that on there and group it all and hit the weld button. Perfect example of how good light burn actually is. So, yeah, I'll basically take these two layers. I'll click on this top one that I've got set here. And as you can see, I'm going to cut it 10 millimeters per second with 40% power. And I'm going to have the air assist turned on and have it set to line, also one pass. I'll click the no assist tab. I'll pick just this color here. Basically assigns the color to that layer. And again, I'm going to set this up exactly the same, 10 millimeters per second, 40% power. But I'm going to make sure that I click off that air assist button. Uh, it'll also be set to line and one pass. So basically get that set up. I'll save that to the laser and go over and show you how it works. I might just pop that one. I'll do the no assist first. So I'll put that one on the top. And uh, yeah, I'll save that and go over to the, uh, to the laser. And I'll show you the difference between using the air assist and not using the air assist. I'll just save that basically send it straight to the machine just put it under air perfect and I'll hop over there and show you show you the outcome all right guys just before I throw some material on the bed I just wanted to show you the difference of uh, with the air assist off I always have a little bit of air blowing out this is probably about the same amount as what the, aquari uh, the aquarium pump that came with it had. And then obviously with the air assist on, so that's pumping out about 15 PSI at the moment. So that's the difference. And uh, now I'll run the job and show you the outcome. All right guys, here we are back at the laser. So I'm just gonna put down some three mil MDF and I'll just get this all lined up. Use that red, lot, that red dot or red light whenever I'm doing the framing just so I can see basically where the design's gonna go. That's pretty much all I use that for. So I'll go through here and we're gonna do the, the first cut, which is the one without the air assist. And uh, as you can see there, it's already burning up the outside pretty bad. So again, this is 10 millimeters per second at 40% power. And I'm using a 80 watt CO2 laser. I've set up both of these layers to, to run the exact same parameters um, so that you can see the difference between both of those. You can also see there that uh, that smoke that's getting pulled out by the extraction fan. Uh, that extraction fan is actually the one that came with the machine when I bought it. I did get a lot of people uh, that I'd read and heard saying that it was too loud and it wasn't really good. I've actually found this to be pretty pretty good. It's, it's really not that loud and uh, it does a really good job. Obviously the lid is open at the moment and I only do have the, the lid open when I'm doing the videos. Uh, otherwise, whenever I'm cutting any of my other stuff, I always have them closed. Uh, but it does a really good job and I'm very happy with the extraction fan that came with the machine. You hear the air kick on there. And you can already see how much cleaner those cuts are. So this one's 15 PSI. Um, I had read, obviously, a lot of people using around 30 PSI. Uh, after doing some testing and things like that, I kind of found that it wasn't really necessary. Well, not for me anyway, with my 50 litre air compressor, uh, 50 litre tank of the air compressor that I have hooked up to this. 
uh, on 30 psi the compressor was kicking on sort of every couple of minutes um, every maybe three or four minutes so I've backed that off to a point where I feel that it's at its best which is again 15 psi and that way the compressor is not sort of kicking on anywhere near as much and I'll just mention too also uh, when I showed you before the with the air assist off the air that's blowing out of that nozzle um, is roughly about the same as the pump that came with it, the air pump that came with the machine. Um, it may be a little bit more, but it's definitely not too much more. Uh, so this uh, is definitely a, a huge upgrade, and as you can see there, uh, that, that cut is super clean. Uh, a lot of the time when I'm doing the cutting, I'll use the masking tape over the top to stop all that burnt look, and basically I'm at a point now where whenever I'm cutting, I don't even need to use that masking tape. Uh, nice and clean and as you can see there without the extra char that's built up with the air assist blowing it out and it pops straight out compared to the other one just pop these out I'll just pull out the uh, little bits on the inside a bit of a look there so obviously this is uh, air assist how clean does that look Obviously, are no air assist, and you can see there. There's also a little bit stuck in the middle of the O. Again, the char build up from not having the air pushing past causes that. Okay. As you can see there, there's definitely an advantage to having that air assist. Anyway, guys, if you found the video helpful, give it a like, and as always, consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with any of the other videos that I post. Cheers, guys.